Hey, what's up you guys? It's Dorothy and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna go into chapter 35 of Lost by James Patterson. So let's get right into this video. This video may contain sensitive topics of foul language. If you do not wish to continue, I suggest that you click off the video now. You have been warned. Two hours later, Hannah and Albert stood on a street corner in Harlem, about 20 kilometers outside of Amsterdam. Albert gla glanced down the slowly sloping hill to the red brick road that led to the pleasant looking three story apartment complex. Albert turned to Hannah and said, how on earth did you find exactly where she lived? Henrik got the information for me and he's still quite upset that you threatened him with a knife. I had to pay him more than double what I normally do. Albert grinned. Usually the knife gives me a discount. Maybe next time I can make my point more clearly. Hannah said he even found out that she lives with two cats. It sounds like he knows someone at the National Police Headquarters. Say what you want about Henrik. He can be subtle and inconspicuous. Albert pulled his survival knife from under his sports coat and the lamplight, his eyes seemed to glow. He said, I can go down there and finish this right this minute. Hannah shook her head. We need to wait. We can't do it anywhere around this apartment complex. The cops would be all over us and I don't want to risk anyone finding out that I have ears everywhere. If we did something like this, there's no way Henrik would ever give us information again and there's no guarantee he'd keep his mouth shut. She turned and looked down at the building. The apartment was on the second floor and several lights burned. The funky eye bitch was home we need to do this in the street somewhere hannah said that way it won't be traced back to, to us with any luck it could be written off as some kind of random act of violence maybe they'll believe some refugee went crazy and stabbed her i'm just not sure how we might find her later albert said i have an idea he reached into the outer pocket of his sports coat and pulled out a case about the size of a deck of cards what's that the tracker you told me to buy i was going to test it to make sure i understood it this will work perfectly without waiting for a reply albert started walking toward the parking lot on the side of the apartment building the very first car in the lot was a volkswagen golf hatchback with a police emblem on the dashboard he was already on his knees checking the batteries in the store bought tracker when his sister caught up to him do you know how to use it can it be track traced back to us no it can't and we need to practice with the gadget once we have the diamonds, we'll have to be sure we know how to track them accurately. Hannah heard a door shut. She glanced around the corner of the building to see Detective Marie Meyer strolling down the sidewalk toward the parking lot. Hannah barked in a hush whisper, hurry up, she's coming. Albert smiled and said, last chance, I can kill her right here, right now. Hannah shook her head. Albert said, go, got it, let's get out of here. Hannah was surprised by the rush she got from doing something as simple as this. Her heart was racing perspiration forming on her forehead they stepped onto the sidewalk with their backs to the detective and hannah put her arm around albert's waist as if they were a couple on a date she heard the car door open and shut then the pinging sound of an un underpowered engine as the detective pulled away from the parking lot albert brought up his phone and opened the app he said we got her let's see where she's headed that is the end of this chapter i will see you guys in the next video bye